Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Now this one is going to be a little short, but I had these really cool ideas for some themed walls that you could put in your survival world um, using of course the Conquest Vanilla Texture Pack. And I wanted to make just a short little tutorial on how you can make all three of these different walls just as a basis to have some different designs in your world. Now, one thing I want to point out, we have this stone castle type theme here, and all of them are actually going to be the, sh the same, um, like pretty much size and the same basic layout. And by that, I mean, they're all going to have a little pillar. They're all going to have a back section and some decorations and a little bit of an overhang. So once again, we have the castle one here. This one is more of like a wooded area, uh, like, a, like a wood forest or something like that, or maybe like a small hamlet kind of style build. And I really like the way that it came out, almost like a tribal in a way. <laughs> and then here we have, of course, a desert themed wall, uh, definitely one that would be more towards like an oasis or something like that. But either way, I still think it came out really, really cool. We have three of them here and I'm going to show you how to build them, even though I'm sure just by looking at them, you can figure it out. But I'd rather show you just so you can build in your own world with no complications. So what we're going to do is we're just going to scoot on over and you'll see earlier that I showed you all the, the blocks and everything there. So I already have some in my bar here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work off of these main sections in the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build them one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just go, I believe it's six high. Yep, two, four, six, there we go, I thought so. And we're gonna do three on the backside and we're gonna fill them in with polished diorite, just like so. We're gonna fill that up all the way actually take that yep fill it up all the way and then we're gonna do some more stone bricks and fill it up three around now of course you can make these wider or taller all depending on your preference but if you do that you're going to have to change the designs ever so slightly to make it work I always deal in in odd numbers if I can at all help it uh, especially in width so that's why I typically do three five seven nine whatever the case may be so what you want to do here, and it's pretty easy, you're going to want to add an additional layer too high along the base. Okay, and then we're going to use some stone brick stairs to cap that off. And I mean, pretty simple, right? It's nothing too crazy. It's nothing too fancy. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to build this just like so across. And then we're gonna have some stairs go just like this. And then as those come out, you're gonna wanna join them and have them just like so. And you're gonna do that in each section, just like that. So that's kind of like what you, sh what you should be looking at, okay? It's very basic, but I really do like the way that it comes out. Now we're gonna add a little bit of detail towards the bottom. So. Once you um, get this done, what, what I did is I added just like a little bit of stone and a little bit of cobblestone to break up the monotony of the stone brick. Now I did this of course as a detailing measure. So it you know looks a little weathered, it looks a little old. And you know you could do it however you want. You can make it just completely out of stone brick, but just that right there shows a very large difference in the way that it comes across. So what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna use some stone brick and some cobblestone, just, you know, something like that, and maybe even some stone. And you're gonna wanna use some stone brick and angle it just like so. And then you're gonna wanna repeat that on this interior side here so it does kinda look like a circle. And we're gonna do that again, just like so. And boom, there you go. So that's the basic template, okay? Then what you're gonna wanna do is if you wanted to add it, you know, you don't have to, but you can add some mossy cobblestone just to really give it like a beat down battered feel. And you can even add that to the actual outer layers as well. The, um, the, the pillars right here, if you really want to, it's all depends on your preference. Me, I just like the way that the mossy cobblestone um, you know, meshes with that polished die, right? I think it looks really, really cool. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take, and I'm just going to go over here to my supplies and we're going to get rid of all these. 
and we're going to get the polished andesite. We are going to get the spruce trapdoor, the iron bars, the spruce fence, the anvil, and the oak trapdoors. What that's going to allow us to do is do something on the center on the center supports. You're going to want to match up the polished uh, dire or andesite. I'm sorry, here on the pillars. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put these spruce trap doors over this little overhang here. Once again, it's, it breaks up the color and it also adds a little bit of extra dimension. Then you're going to want to take your fencing, your spruce fence, and line it up here in the center. You're going to want to put anvils on top. And then you're going to want to take your oak trap doors or dark oak trapdoors, yep, dark oak, and put them up there. So now we're already almost done with this, and you're going to want to use the iron bars to finish it off. And that's pretty much what you're looking like. And you know, like I said, it's very basic, it's very simple, but it comes out exceptionally well. One thing you could do if you really wanted to change things up is you can always put a center block there and have it to where it's not just a platform. And that way it also gives it even more dimension, just like so. So just so you can see the whole thing, there we go. And like I said, that just adds another layer of dimension, another layer of depth for this build. And that can come across in a very, very cool way, especially if you build this higher, you do an overhang, you fill this out about five wide or something like that. You can have a really cool looking defensible wall made out of very simple materials that you can get very early on in the game. All right, so next up we're going to do the really cool uh you know forest wall one here, the kind of tribalesque uh primitive wall, which I really like the way that it came out. So what we're going to do is once again we're going to follow the same exact layout. We're going to have our pillars here. Now this one I made a little shorter, but I'm going to make it equally as tall uh, just so everybody can see that. So we're going to do that and we're going to go three wide and like six up. And we're going to go all the way out just like so. Simple enough, right? Once again, we're following the same exact pattern. Now what we're going to do and what I decided to do is kind of change this up a little bit. So we're going to use some cobblestone for the base, just like so. And then you're going to want to take your, your um, stripped oak and spruce logs and just kind of change this up a little bit here. And now the reason I did this is to add some variety to the way that the build looks. And this just gives it a nice little change of color. And you do this cross pattern here. And it just makes it look really, really cool in the end. Um, and so we're just going to do that all the way around. Just like so. And like I said, it adds a nice color difference to where it's, it's not boring. And it's just enough change to where it's not overbearing but the design can still come across really really cool and see you can see it is and you can even do a color gradient if you wanted to so you could even do something simple like this and have it look really really cool so you could have like a gradient of it being dirtier down below and getting cleaner as it goes up. What we're going to do now is we're going to take out our spruce stairs and we're going to slap them on the front of these pillars. And then what you're going to want to do and what I did, I, I put water down here on the initial build, but I'm not going to do that for this one. We're going to do some upside down stairs on each one and then a slab underneath in the center. And we're going to repeat that design just like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this log and we're going to go across the top. Same thing as we did with the stone brick. As you can see, they're all framed exactly alike, but they're all just slightly different enough for you to be able to change them and tweak them to however you want. 
Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this a spruce stair, just like so, in a, in a slab. Now, you could, if you wanted to, do a full spruce block here and then a stair right here if you wanted to give it a little bit more dimension, but that's truly up to you. Now, at this point, we're gonna do another spruce stair, but it's gonna be upside down. Um, actually, yeah, it's gonna be right here just like so. And then we're gonna take a little bit of oak fence and we're gonna fill it in. Now what I wanted to do is I wanted to change things up and I decided to do a ladder. Oop, if I don't mess that up, here we go. So the ladder you can put in the middle and it's just, for me, it's just a little bit of a change of a design. You could, you could go fence, ladder, fence, ladder, so on and so forth. But I thought that it looked really cool having it this way. Then at this point, what we're gonna do is we are going to go back up and we're gonna put a composter on each side. And once again, you can vary them however you'd like. And then you're gonna wanna raise the spruce log up just like so. And what this does is this allows for a little bit of variation in the height and also the design. So whereas this has just the polish and a site going all the way across, this actually has some differences. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna go back to our line here of supplies <laughs> and we're gonna get some spruce fence, some oak buttons and oak trap doors. And actually, you know what, I forgot this, some jungle trap doors. Now what we're gonna do with the trap doors, as you just saw, we're gonna slap them right here and that gives it more of that jungle feel. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to get some gates. Now this is the spruce fence gate. You're gonna to wanna to slap that down right here, almost like a, like a defensible measure. And then if you wanna throw some buttons, you know, throw some buttons on there. They just look kinda of cool. You know, it's a little bit of a change. You're gonna to have to vary them a little bit if you don't want them to look exactly the same. But it once again adds a little bit of detail that not everybody thinks of. Then we're gonna take this spruce fence and we're gonna fill it in right just like so. We're gonna take our oak trap door and put it on top just like that. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get a campfire. And you're gonna to wanna to throw that in the composters. And sometimes they go in this texture pack, yeah, see, there we go. So sometimes they go up, sometimes they go flat, but I think it looks really cool just like that. And then what I did last but not least is I threw a few heads on there. I mean, look, you, you could do whatever you want. Look, you, you don't even have to put a player head. You could put a dragon head there if you really wanted to, right? And once again, it just adds kind of like that tribal-esque um, feel to it. And I think it looks really, really cool. Now, last but not least, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a sign up. Now, the signs were just my little personal touch. You don't have to do it. Oop, I messed that one up. I messed that one up. You don't have to do the signs, but I did just think it added a little splash of color and an otherwise very dull build, uh, at least in the color scheme. So yeah, so that is actually the tribal forest um, kind of design. I still think it looks really, really cool, but just looking at these two, you can see that they are the same exact build, but just different materials and it already completely changes the way that it looks. And that's the whole point of this video is to show you what you can do with limited blocks, especially using the vanilla pack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the desert one and I'll show you how to build that. All right, everybody. So last but not least, let's get done with this desert wall build. So once again, we are going to put them up six high and we're gonna go three in between and the same thing we've been doing. This whole video is so simple and easy to make these. I really hope you can build them in your world and really just enjoy the fact that you can make this really awesome and your, and your walls really cool right off the gate. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take some cut sandstone and a little bit of smooth sandstone, sandstone and we're gonna do this. So I'm just gonna fill it all in with smooth sandstone right off the bat. And then we're gonna take some of that cut sandstone to add a little bit of texture to it. Now you could also take, if you were using Conquest Reforged clay and stuff like that, and even on this one, clay might work, but it's a slightly darker texture and it didn't really look good when I was experimenting with it. 
But what we're going to do here is you can see you can add some of this on there just like so. And it'll allow you to have a little bit of a different texture. Once again, it's not absolutely necessary to do this, but it does add a little bit more of a feel um, you know, to this build. And that's all what we're going for is easy builds that are very atmospheric and can just really help out you know, the style. So there we go. Now it looks a little funky now, but when, you, when we add some of the other uh, materials, it's gonna look really, really great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some sandstone stairs, and we're gonna fill them in just like this on the interior side and on the outside. And already you can see it's kind of blended together a little bit better. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go two up, and we're gonna hit that right there. Actually, you know what, let's go three up, because I think I, um, let's see, boom, boom, yep, okay, so I actually did do a little hiccup, so that's right, so it's up here, it's the three space, and you're going to have some stairs, and it's going to look just like that. Now, what you want to do is add also a little bit of sandstone, okay, I actually forgot to mention that uh, un until I was looking, I was like, hey, this isn't it. Um, so the sandstone will add, uh, once again, some more texturing, okay? I mean, that's, that's what we like to do, is we like to texture, texture, texture. Because without texturing, a build will never, you can have a great build, but if it's not textured correctly, it will not look as good as it needs to. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chiseled sandstone and we're gonna go all the way across, just like so, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, um, the birch trapdoor and put it right there okay and then we're also going to place it here in the middle so it's going to be a staggered just like that and then after all that is said and done and we kind of have this basic outline believe it or not the target in this texture pack is going to be what we use just like that I think it looks so so cool it just definitely fits that feeling, and I like the way that it comes out for this theme. So we have sandstone wall is going to be next. We're gonna put that here on the corners, just like so, to match the stairs, just like that. And then we're gonna get a dark oak wood fence. And we're gonna put that in the middle to conjoin that. Now, they it, you can't open it, so like if you were on this side, oop, oh man and you can open it and shoot out if you really want to, but obviously we're gonna be shooting over in this scenario. But this that's pretty much it here, okay? This is the basic overall design. Then you're gonna to wanna to take an in-stone brick wall, which of course, when you first start off, might not be easily acquirable, so you're gonna to have to find uh, probably just honestly the walls here you could put like that if you really wanted to but I just like the way the instone works with the little white hue it just comes across really well and last but not least you're gonna want to put there we go see you're gonna want to put some vines now this makes it you know very lush very green and you know it just it adds to it and it makes this build look really really cool in my opinion and it once again it just adds a lot of atmosphere to it which is of course something that is very important in Minecraft. What we lack in shapes, we make up for in atmosphere. So that's pretty much that. And that's all three of these builds. And once again, you know, you can always just copy and paste if you're not in survival and do the other side. Or if you are in survival, these are some really great walls you can use to spruce everything up. So right here, you know, they're all the same height. They're all the same exact design just with different materials and i hope you can see how just just that simple fact of using different materials can really change how your build comes out and how other people perceive it it's it's absolutely incredible and i'm really trying to do a lot more in vanilla so i can get even better at it and start making some really epic builds so 
anyways, I really appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any questions or, or comments or anything, definitely feel free to put it down there in the comment section below. Let me know what you would like me to kind of, you know, give some variations on next and maybe what you would like to see continue uh, to be built in Conquest Survival. So uh, I hope all of you have a absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope y'all uh, just have a good weekend and I hope you have a good day and happy gaming.